welcome welcome dear student in our another session in a pharmaceutics first practical session myself mrs darshana sandeep shinde from kk wag institute of pharmacy chandori nasik today we deal with the experiment number 30 title of our today's experiment is to prepare evaluate and submit 10 g of toothpaste learning outcomes of our today's session after watching this video should or should student should develop the intellectual skill such as to understand the requirement of formulation of toothpaste then to develop the motor skill such as weighing mixing to feel the cream content today we see the some new concepts that are the what is meant by abrasives abrasives are used to remove the debris and residual stain from the teeth surface without damaging them the cleansing power of an abrasive is depend on the abrasive size shape hardness and its brittleness abrasives these are used to clean the teeth surface then humectants humectants are the substances used to retain the water into the preparation and prevent them from the dryness to maintain the proper moisture content proper water content we have to add the humectants into the preparations then we see the what are the cosmetics though the toothpaste is the one kind of the cosmetics which are used to used for the mouth cavity to enhance the beauty of the mouth cavity cosmetics means an any article intended to be rub pour sprinkle or spray or on or intended into or otherwise applied to the human body they are for the cleaning purpose beautifying promoting attractiveness or altering the appearance include any article intended to be used as a component of the cosmetics these are some kind of the cosmetics we are used to enhance the beauty then we see the classification of the cosmetics on the basis of the parts of the organ and types of the cosmetic use on the skin we use the creams deodorants lotions powders on the hairs on the hairs we use the braid softeners shampoos shaving preparations hair colors conditioners on the nails we use the manicure preparation like the nail polish polish remover uh, on the teeth and the mouth cavity we use the tooth powder and toothpaste as a cosmetics today we see that in miscellaneous category we see the eye preparations insect repellent creams etc then we see the toothpaste what are the toothpaste toothpaste or the paste are the semi solid preparation intended for external application to the skin the paste are generally very thick and stiff due to the high solid content in the paste there is a high solid content which make the stiff they do not melt at the ordinary temperature thus form a protective coating over the area which they are applied toothpaste is a dentifrice used for cleaning the surface of the teeth it help to removal of the food particle reduction of the superficial plaque and teeth stain polishing the teeth surface and freshing the mouth breath that's why we use the toothpaste uh, toothpaste is a under the category of the paste the toothpaste is containing the more solid content it do not it have a specific layer on the uh, coating surface and to uh, this toothpaste we use for the cleaning of the teeth which give the freshing uh, mouth breath uh, which removes the superficial plaque uh, it removes the food particle then we see the good qualities of the dentifrice Uh, dentifrice is it should be economical one it should be non toxic sweetened and flavored one uh, give fresh and clean sensation efficient in removing the food substances plaque and other foreign particles the formulation and excipients used in the toothpaste are abrasive agents binders detergents flavoring agents humectants preservatives sweetening agents 
the labeling the label should contain secondary label that is for external use only and replace the cap after its use then we see the apparatus required for our today's preparations spatula beaker measuring cylinder water bath pipette and mortar and pestle then we see the formulation table this is the formulation table this formulation table contain the ingredients its quantity its quantity is given for the 100 ml but now today we have to prepare only the 10 ml then for that we have to calculate the factor factor can be calculated as quantity required upon quantity given our today's quantity required is only 10 gram and quantity given for the 100 so our factor is 0.1 by this 0.1 we multiplied all the ingredients and we get the quantity required for an example 35 multiplied by 0.1 we get 3.5 gram of dicalcium phosphate which is required for our today's 10 ml or 10 gram of the paste uh, dicalcium phosphate is used as a polishing agent calcium carbonate is used as a thickening agent glycerin is used as a humectant gum tragacanth that is used as a binding agent Saccharin, saccharin is used as a sweetening agent. Sodium lauryl sulfate is used as a surfactant, and purified water is used as a vehicle. Then we see the stepwise procedure. Stepwise procedure consists of weigh all the powder ingredients, then triturate all the powder ingredients into the mortar, and for the size reduction and for the uniform mixing, and then add a mixture of glycerin and water with the continuous trituration until a smooth paste is formed. The category of today's preparation is toothpaste and its uh, storage conditions are replace the cap tightly after its use. Then we move towards the laboratory for the practical session. Welcome dear students in pharmaceutics first laboratory. Today we prepare the toothpaste, 10 gram of toothpaste. Let's see the apparatus required for and chemicals required for today's experiment. We have required dicalcium phosphate 3.5 gram for the 10 gram. Today we prepare only the 10 gram of the toothpaste. Then calcium carbonate 1.4 percent. Then glycerin. We take the glycerin 2 ml glycerin. Gum tragacan. 0.12 percent saturin 0.005 percent sodium lauryl sulfate 1 percent all these ingredients we wait and uh, this is our collapsible tube in uh, in this tube we can fill our uh, preparation and this is the mortar and pestle which is required for to triturate all the ingredient let's start the practical we take the purified water this is our glycerin first of all we triturate all the ingredients take the ingredients in a dry and clean mortar and pestle this is the tragacan and this is the saturin is 0.005% which is used as a sweetening agent in our toothpaste. Triturate all the ingredients. To reduce their size. And uniform mixing. adding little bit of water into it water and glycerin to form smooth paste
see our toothpaste is ready it got a proper consistency paste like consistency Our toothpaste is ready. Then now we fill this paste tube into this collapsible tube. We can fill this our paste paste into the container. For the large scale, we can use the ointment filling machine. But here today. we fill it by another method that is take our paste into the clean paper we pour all our paste tube into the paper roll on roll that paper and fill this into this collapsible tube then we can fill our toothpaste into this roll and then place this roll on the in this way in this way we can fill our toothpaste see we can fill our toothpaste into this collapsible tube see you can see this is our test tube which is we will we fill into this collapsible tube now we can now we close this collapsible tube uh, for that we can use cramping machine also on manual scale uh, we can press uh, this collapsible tube with the help of this spatula and in this way uh this is our test uh, toothpaste which will fill into the container observation and evaluation table we will see in a next session then we see the observation and evaluation table observation table should contain the specifications like the name of the preparation taste specification and observation toothpaste its appearance is semi solid free from the grittiness it's confirm what we see that while making our paste a uh, fragrance is perfume we added in uh, flavor into that peppermint flavor that's why it is a perfume one this is this is the observation table we have to maintain in a such a way that after that we see the labeling this is the label and or labeling specifications we should be always uh, present on uh, our label first of all we have to at the top we name of our product that is toothpaste then in the right hand side its quantity that is 10 g then each 10 g contain all the ingredients should be mentioned with their uh, quantity here we mention the ingredients with their 10 g of quantity then category category of our today's um, preparation that is toothpaste storage condition it should be 
replace the cap after its use and there is a secondary label that is for external use only then manufacturing details such as manufacturing license number manufacturing batch number expiry number and manufacturing price all these should be mentioned and at the bottom uh, name and address of the manufacturer this is the specimen label we should be have or oh, or oh, follow the all the specifications given such kind of label then we move towards the result session result today we prepare the 10 gram of the toothpaste our result will be the 10 gram of the toothpaste submitted in a well closed container with the neat label in this way we finish our experiment number 30 that is to prepare evaluate and submit 10 gram of the toothpaste then we move towards the question answer session the first question is how the paste are differ from the creams and the ointment in the paste there is a large concentration of the solid content paste are not sticky one creams and ointments are sticky one creams and ointments are greasy also because they contain oil in that and uh, paste and cream are prepared for emulsion they form a specific kind of emulsion paste are just adding the fillers or solid content paste are stiff one creams and ointments not the stiff ones these are the difference between the creams paste and ointments then second question write two brand names of the medicated toothpaste and with the name of their active pharmaceutical ingredients api colgate uh, in that uh, active pharmaceutical agent is the calcium carbonate or uh, now different kind uh, brands of the colgates are available colgate gel colgate toothpaste colgate ayurvedic paste then pepsodent then sensodyne sensodyne toothpaste are used for to uh, for the nerves of our tooth our uh, gums which are sensitive one for that kind we use the sensodyne toothpaste these are marketed products available lots of then next question write four factor which define the abrasive nature of the substance the abrasive nature that means which give the shine or which remove, removes the debris and residual strain for our teeth surface without damaging the cleaning power of the abrasive substance is depend on its size, shape, hardness and brittleness. These are the factors. Then why or what type of the detergent are used in the toothpaste? In the toothpaste, sodium lauryl sulfate, magnesium lauryl sulfate, these kind of the detergents are used in a specific concentration in, while making the toothpaste. Thank you very much for attending my practical session.